Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Commander Clash. This week we're checking out the new Murders at Karlov Manor Commander Precons. Which deck is everyone bringing to battle? Hey it's Phil and I'm gonna be playing Deep Clue C. It's got all my favorite cards, big value, I don't know what to say, it's just the greatest precon I've ever seen. Hey I'm Richard and I'm playing Nelly Borka. It's a Boros Commander and it's looking to mess with combat, so a lot of goading, a lot of suspecting, and a, a lot of fogs, weirdly enough. Yo, we're back with precons this week and of course yours truly is gonna play the surveil one. We're gonna just, well, surveil and grow Burko and see how big we can get him and maybe reanimate a few things along the way. I'm Seven, I'm playing the Naya Precon, which is full of very mysterious face down creatures and led by crossed eyes of the glade. This show is brought to you by our sponsors. You can purchase all the accessories we use on the show over at ultimateguard.com and you can purchase all your cards over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. You can also support us by buying merch at our merch store at mtggoldfishmerch.com and liking and subscribing to help the channel grow. All right, with the intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Three, two, one. Flash out. Flash out. Flash out. You guys are getting worse at this. I feel Tomer's pain. I feel Tomer's <laughs> pain. My God. You have been We're called trying. out in the comments. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's let's go. I'm going to draw. Maybe there's lag. That would make sense. Is there lag? When I say there's clash on, it should make it. There's That's definitely be the lag. Internet That's lag. why I'm not yeah. saying it. <laughs> go ahead. That's these not the reason. lands hurt me. Okay, go. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's snarls in these decks. I almost refuse to play this deck just on principle because of the snarls, but. I need to read my cards. Oh, yeah. We got a reader. I'll play Fetid Pool and I'm gonna pass. You have to read. Fetid I will. Pool's crew. Oh yeah. no, no, no that's not what I had to read. I know what Fetid Pools is. You don't know what a Fetid Pool is. No, Frozen I know what a Fetid Pool is. I'm passing. Get out of here. What, what is a Fetid Pool, Krim? Explain it to well, me in great detail. It's an island swamp, actually, <laughs> street. and it has cycling. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Mountain pass. Very exciting start. Hey, it's Precon Week. Uh, I'm gonna play an island. You had to read Island Cream. That's not the one. Everybody calm down. Seriously. I thought you were a role player. I thought you were a blue mage. That's what I'm reading, everybody. When it enters the battlefield, surveil one. Then I can pay two, stack it, choose one, cloak the top card of my library, go target creature, or draw a card. But first, I'll surveil. Do that surveilling. All right, I will untap and draw. That card. Why is this card in my deck? I'm going to throw it away. All right. Oh, wow. Sphinx of the Second Sun. Ooh, that card's cool. That's one if of the good reprints. Yeah. I'm going to play a Canopy Vista tapped because I don't have two basic lands and pass the turn. That's just a normal uh -huh. set bad of Ace over there. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't play Commander already, this precon would have probably got me into the format. Oh my god, I love it. Here's a forest and a blue oh, and a green. A ramp. Oh my god. It's Lornis, baby. Oh, boy. So whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, I investigate and a very long activated ability. I'll get to this when we do this and pass. D do you ever use that ability on Lannis? I know you have a Lannis deck, yeah. Krim. Do you actually yeah, use that very often? Yeah, yeah. You say Krim, I would, I would never use that. Oh, did, I did just say Krim. <laughs> I'm at Phil. <laughs> Phil All right. Smuggler share. At the beginning of each end step, draw a card for each opponent who drew two or more cards this turn. Create a treasure for each opponent who had two or more lands enter the battlefield under the control this turn. Card was pretty good against me. <laughs> Unleash your power, guys. Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm going to untap Island. I'll draw. I'm going to go ahead and play Reliquary Tower that you didn't or trust me because I didn't accidentally flash it. And then I'm going to go ahead and play my commander. Play Mirko, Obsessive Theorist. Flying, vigilant. Whenever I surveil, put a 1 1 counter on Mirko, Obsessive Theorist. At the beginning of my end step, I may return target creature card with power less than Mirko's power from my graveyard to the battlefield with the finality counter on it. All right, your turn. Wait, how much power is your commander? 1 3. 1 3. Oh my god, this mana base pre cons. Um, all right, I'm just going to get my ramp going. I'm going to play a Mossfire Valley and. I'm going to tap both of them and sack my Cross and Verge, which lets me search uh, my library for a force and a plane, put them in the battlefield, tapped and shuffle. As I'm, if I have duels, I'm going to grab them. If not basics, and uh, you can go as I'm finding my two and lands. step smuggler share, baby. Oh, wait, what did I do? Right. Shouldn't you have done it in your end step? Oh, step? for two lands entering Probably. the battlefield. It's at, it's at the beginning of each end step. Wait, if you did it on his end step, I wouldn't get this trigger. Yeah, I guess yeah. technically yeah. I could play around that. Yeah. Are you taking backsies? Okay, we'll take. No, 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 I'm not a take <laughs> I, yes, you should take the backsies. Oh, I have two I'm dual lands. Okay, I get two cycling Tap. lands because I do have dual lands with types. Good. Nice. 
pay a white and a green for Serene Sleuth. First of all, I scry because of the uh, Path of Ancestry, because this is a detective, just like my commander, and I'm going to scry. So Lonis says, when a creature enters the battlefield, I get a clue. And when this enters the battlefield, I get a clue as well. So that is two clues already. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, investigate for each goated creature you control. Then each creature you control is no longer goated. So Wait, what? That's the count of my deck? You're going to profit. This is straight <laughs> up goating. <laughs> right. um, and then I'm going to play a Temple of Mystery. And I already scryed and I liked it, so uh, pass. Okay, so you just hard counter my deck. Thanks, wizards. <laughs> but I also I also help you, your smuggler stash, with my theme. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, Reliquary Tower. I'm going to play my commander. Nelly Borka, Impulsive Accuser. It's a 2-4 with Vigilance. When it attacks, suspect target creature. Then goad all suspected creatures. And a suspected creature creature is one that has menace and can't block. Now, the second part is whenever one or more creatures an opponent controls deal combat damage to one or more of your opponents, you and that controller each draw a card. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and untap all my lands, draw a card. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a uh, swamp, tapping island and reliquary tower. I'm going to go ahead and suspend my Watcher of Hours, Flying Ward 3, whenever you remove a time counter from Watcher of Hours while it's exiled, Surveil 1. Uh, it has to spend Ooh. 6. So, Seth, you have nothing open, right? You have no blockers? And let I me get this no, straight. I got nothing. I got lands. And Richard, if I hit Seth, you and I draw cards? That's right. We, we do a little rendezvous. Remember <laughs> that Richard will also draw another card if yeah. you draw your second card. He'll yeah. draw two. Right. Word. I do love that. All right. No, I don't. <laughs> Dog Detective. Uh, this one is just a two mana. Enters the battlefield. Surveil two. Uh, whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you may return it from the graveyard to my hand. But Mirko's going to trigger here because whenever I surveil, put a 1-1 counter on Mirko Vosk. Man. I'm say, this is not new player friendly. Uh, new player friendly. I'm already super confused. We have like two cards on the battlefield. There's a lot of text, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And weird abilities. Oh, this is a bit of a pickle. I'm going to throw away one card. It's at my end step. <laughs> Massacre worm, eh? So my commander will go ahead and grab, get a, get a nice little 1-1 counter here. I'm going to swing at you, Seth. Two, actually, has vigilance. I'm lying to you. You card. Uh, I'm going to swing <laughs> You're at not you attacking for me? Oh, good. I am going uh, to swing at you for two. Aw. Actually, uh, wait, Phil, what do you will, your creatures? I will take the two. Uh, wait, hang, hang one, on, two, two, on. two. I'll hit you. I fly. Oh, it flies. Aww. Oh, yeah. no, it flies anyway. All right. All right. So, so uh, I take two uh, Nelly mana. triggers? Yeah. I'll take Are the you partner. done? Yeah. Okay. okay. So smuggler share triggers at end step. And I will uh, untap. Me my end step, I may return target creature with power less than Mirko's uh, from the graveyard. I don't have that. All right. I will untap and draw. Ooh, what does this do? Oh, that's cute. You know what? Let's play that. That's like, it's a Panharmonicon. There's a Panharmonicon for everything <laughs> I these days. I that. swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> no, it's not a good Panharmonicon. I, I'm going to play Panoptic Projector with a K for some reason. It lets me tap to make my next face down creature cost three less to cast this turn. If we're turning up a face down permanent, face up, causes the triggered ability of that permanent to trigger, then I get to trigger additional time. Basically a panharmonicon for flipping things face up. So I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna tap it and I'm going to uh, play my first face down creature. We're gonna play this face down. Technically a morph. My deck has a mixture of all three, so it's a morph. And uh, I need to play a land for the turn, which is gonna be this very tap sacred peaks and uh, go ahead. It is just a tap land that has land no, no, no. types on it. All right, I'm going to tap two mana, play an Arcane Signet. I'm actually going to miss my land drop, but... Ooh, that's very unfilled. One, two, Vogue. Four, Vogue. Vogue. four. Oh my god, why? This card in the pre-con, Benny Brax, uh, Zoologist. <laughs> Convoke, at the beginning of each end step, Benny. if you created a token this turn, draw a card. I'm so happy I can finally play this card because it wasn't on Moto. It even uh, gets a so, real smuggler share. <laughs> yes. End step. That's First of so all, I hilariously a clue. annoying. I How that. convenient because in my end step, Benny sees the clue and says, Oh, I'm going to draw your card. I'm going to pass the turn. My turn after being denied smuggler share by Phil. Yeah, smuggler share is not doing much. Is that card even good? I got I a treasure. So. I mean, it's you about to do. That you was guys only are because I punted. <laughs> you that guys was only are because I punted too. too. You shouldn't have a treasure if I didn't pun. <laughs> you guys are about to pop off, okay? You guys are about to pop off. Look at this. Temple of the False God. Wow. Ooh. Five and five. Two. Natural. 
what does this do? None of this does anything. <laughs> so, so Seth, I'm going to, uh, this says Vigilance. I don't even need to tap it. Uh, I'm going to attack you. It's a 2-4. Uh, and then I suspect Flatten doesn't have board, right? So I suspect it does not. Morph. Again, so suspect, what does that do? Mind all yeah. Menace cards. and can't block. Uh, I will take two. Okay, so no drawing because it's a creature and opponent controls. So we, we don't do any drawing here. One, two. I'm going to play a Felwar Stone. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to cast a Steel Hellkite. So it's a 5-5 five, five flyer. I can pump it for two mana. And then X, destroy each non-land permanent value or each non-land permanent mana value X whose controller is dealt damage by Steel Kite. <laughs> so someone has mm-hmm. clues or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, go ahead, Krim. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to remove a counter off my suspend creature, which when again, when I do, while it's exiled, I get to surveil one, which will then give me a 1-1 one, yep. one counter here. They do call me Yugi Moto. I will keep that on top, <laughs> and I'll get a counter. So let's go ahead and take my turn now. Uh, that's a that was a good draw. Richard, are you gonna hit me with that dragon? I don't know. Are you gonna Hopefully. spew out a bunch Probably of Probably have props? to. Crim's commander is still an issue. Don't let him talk us out of that. Like, there's a huge things in the graveyard. <laughs> you know what, Seth? I thought we were cool, but I guess I just not. don't want to. You know what's really good against a deck that's full of face down two two creatures, Crim? Massacre Worm by chance. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I'm not gonna get Massacre Worm, am I? But all right. Well, you know, you're scaring me, Seth. So uh, you're scaring I'm me, gonna, Crim. Seth, I'm gonna hit you for three. I will take the three. All right, Nelly Borka trigger. We both. Oh uh, yeah. Damn, Richard. All right. Go ahead. I will <laughs> untap and draw. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. End step. Smuggler's cough through. Smuggler's share. Draw. <laughs> right? Krim drew extra cards. Yeah. Thank you. I drew okay. one card. I feel like every one of these precons is designed to just beat up on this morph deck. Like Steel Hellkite. You know what's good against a bunch of face down no mana value creatures? <laughs> Massacre Worm. This is the worst meta for this deck. Um, Dude, uh, yeah. Massacre Worm, but it extinct me as well. So We're going to tap our, our projector and we're going to play another face down creature. Put this into play face down. Uh, this is also a morph. Go to combat. This is goaded, so it has to attack, and it's suspected, so it has menace. So I'm going to attack, I guess, Phil, since he's the only one that can't eat my morph. Uh, so this hits Phil, so I get to draw a card, right? Yeah, so Nelly Borka trigger. Yeah, so I draw a card. You know what? I th- oh, boy. This is going to make people want to blow me out. All right, we got to do that. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. I can blow you out for free. It better not be a morph. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it is probably one of the better cards in my deck. I'm going to play a Seedborn Muse, which lets me untap all my stuff <laughs> during each other's on, fingers on tap step. <laughs> that should be my deck. And then I'm going to play a Temple of Abandon as my land for the turn, which lets me scry one. Uh, I'm going to scry this to the bottom of my deck past the turn. Smuggler share, because you drew two. This is and then I will yes, untap when scry. Phil untaps. I feel like Phil yeah. is going to be weak. <laughs> you actually yeah, got a point. This engine. I'm not even doing anything. He's just playing Magic the Gathering for me. Yeah, Smuggler, smuggler Share is just going Phil on, on the there. daily. Phil's like, Whoa. You guys were mocking Smuggler Share. It's done its, it's fair work already. I'm going to play a Command Tower. It's your commander is helping. Yeah. 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 I'm going to play a Joriel Moon Wooly Recluse. Oh my god, Jesus Richard. Christ, is that the, the one that makes cats when you draw a second card? Yes, when you draw your second card, Richard each turn create a 2-2 two, two cat creature. Hey, you're welcome, Richard. It's, we're kind of synergizing off each other here. Kind of you're only synergizing off me. <laughs> 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 oh, no, um, we're both synergizing, Phil. We're both synergizing. Oh yeah, so I get a clue. Yeah, I guess I just embrace Demise and go into my and step. Benny Brax triggers, but first, did the smugglers share the moon? No. No. So Benny Brax draw... draws a card. <laughs> you did draw it. Yeah. Since I drew my second card for the turn, Joria create a cat. Pass. Okay, Phil, you have flying blockers? No. No. But you no, have no, three no, mana just... suspiciously yeah. up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But <laughs> Seth doesn't. Seth has a warp. I, I mean, who knows what I could have? Yeah. I kind of want that master to go off, actually. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to uh, swing at Phil, I think. Five damage. 
Ouch. So Lotus, the thing that counters Goat and our two mana, Brax is what, three? I hate to say it, but ooh, Jorio is not yeah. two mana. So Jorio's yeah. two oh, and the thing? Okay. All right. Oh, two is so much value. Yeah, yeah. I have zero we, 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 against this. We got One oh. temple, false god. Oh, Ooh. the blowout. I'm probably out Steel of this. Steel health Okay. Uh, these all die. So I am going to uh, play Feather. Ooh, new Feather. It's a 4-3 flying lifelink. When you cast a non-creature spell uh, that targets only Feather, you may choose any number of other creatures that spell could target and pay two for each of those creatures. If you do, for each of those creatures, copy that spell. Uh, the copy targets that creature. All right, Krem, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're, we're, sure we're, cool. we're gonna super go cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're so not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ghostly prison, okay? I'm going to ghostly prison. And uh, okay. I have lots of cards, but I have a relic fairy tower. I have two, four, six, eight. So I'm not, I don't need to discard. Go ahead. Uh, end of your turn. Uh, I'm going to cast Price of Fame. Target your, your hell kite. Okay. And so it'll die. Yeah. If it does, then I'll surveil two, which will then give me a counter. <sighs> that okay. commander, though, it's happening. I'm going to throw away Phyrexian Arena, and I'm going to keep oh, this card. Oh, no, out. you threw away Phyrexian Arena. Go to my turn now. Krim doesn't believe in Phyrexian Arena, do you? Aren't you a hater now, Krim? I mean, I can't t decide what the starter deck's put in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to surveil because I remove a counter. Hey, it's that thing I wanted. All right. Cool. Krim's I'll commander seems strong. Well, Phil just got hit into oblivion. Uh, so Seth, uh, Seth, I'm gonna hit you for five. Really, no fear of the morphs. Yeah. We'll uh, make you do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he doesn't respect right, you enough. like I do, Seth. <laughs> I know, seriously, but I will take five. <laughs> Nelly Trigger, Arms Commander, Black, and a Reliquary Tower. I'm gonna poke the bear a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm gonna play Shriek Maw, Evoked. I'm gonna. What target. are you targeting? So if you will bend it, you can't bend it to any of my stuff because they're black. <laughs> he's not blue. Uh, so <laughs> he's also not blue. He's not blue. <laughs> or I mean, yeah, you know, it's always bolt bender. There's, a, there's other redirects. Right? <laughs> there is a bolt like, bender. <laughs> I'm gonna target your seedborn muse. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sure, you kill my seedborn muse. How about okay. that graveyard hate? Boo. Reasons? Four mana. The dreaded tap out. I should probably show you the card before I do the action. Uh, deep analysis. Sure. Can I draw, draw them two. cards? I will. And then I'm going to go to end step. I mean, he already nellied, so. Okay. Yeah. Smuggler share trigger. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and reanimate Freak Ma. Yeah. And so what is the problem here? You. Or, no, not me. <laughs> you know, I hit Seth already. So I'm going to hit, I, something's got to happen to Richard. So I'll, I'll pick off your feather. Feather? Feather? Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. All right. So. At the end of Crim's turn, before my turn, it's, oh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tap five mana, yeah, and I am going to surprise. It's a hooded Hydra under that morph. Hooded Hydra, when it is unmorphed, I get to put five plus one plus one counters on it. I'm pretty sure that means I get to get ten because I think it's a triggered ability. It's not a trigger, right? It's not a trigger. Aw. Well, what a shame. Well, I just get a 5-5 five, five then. Uh, and when it dies, I get to make a snake for each counter on it. A 1-1 one, one snake token. And then I will untap. Uh, <laughs> draw cards. Are you setting up Krim for the combo kill to kill that and massacre more of you into the Shadow <laughs> Realm? <laughs> uh, I just need to be able to attack Krim because Krim is like going off. We're at the, I think we're at the player removal. Like We need player removal stage of this game. I'm going to use my projector to put a mysterious creature into play from my hand. Uh, I'm going to play one of the backup commanders from this deck. Dunska nice. the Rage Mother. Uh, it is a 5-5 five, five that when it enters the battlefield, I get to draw a card for each creature I control with base power and toughness of two. And when a creature uh, I control with base power and toughness of two, two attacks, I get to give it plus three, plus three until end of turn. So we have two, two, two uh, base power and toughness creatures. So I will draw two cards. I would like to draw a card. So this is going to go at Phil. And then, Richard, your commander is a what, 2-4 or something? Yes, prison. I have ghostly prison. Uh, well, Phil, sorry, you don't have a ghostly <laughs> prison button, so I guess this is yeah. a bad week to be a Phil. Uh, so a 5-5, five, yeah. five, and then this will get pumped plus 3, plus 3 because of Dunska. So you will take 10, or a 2-5-5, five, five. so this one has Menace. Yeah, I blocked the Hydra. So you just take 5, yeah, and Friendly then I'll draw a card. Oh, a little hand of... Richard's command. Aye, 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 aye. Cinderglade is my land for the turn. Still coming into play tap because I got no basics. And go ahead. End step. Smuggler's share. Uh, yeah, in my end step, I will crack a clue. Uh, Seth's end step. 
Uh, oh, there's got to be absolute heat on top here because I am... <laughs> Just one farewell. Far behind. to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, I have that well. I know I, I said this earlier in the in season that I will. I, I, I can't trust Phil the rest of the season, but Phil, I trust you this game. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Three mana. I'm going to cast my commander. It's Morska under Sea Sleuth. Uh, I have no maximum hand size, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I investigate. And whenever I draw my second card each turn, it gets two plus one plus one counters. It is the creature types of my commander, so I'm going to scry. Yeah, heat? no. That's not heat? Okay. That is not the heat. Uh, let's try to find it with a Temple of Enlightenment. <laughs> Scry. Is that the heat? No heat? No. <laughs> Someone's uh, really pushing <laughs> temples. Cold, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love how they couldn't um, even put their surveil land. <laughs> yeah, that would have yeah, been really. cool, right? The new lands. I'm is there not even one in your deck, Krim? Yeah, you're like a surveil deck. If any deck <laughs> no. would get one. Wow. You think they could just yeah, give out money like that? <laughs> that's their bottom that's line. Like ten dollar. That's like a ten dollar. Their bill. bottom Someone's line. buying a booster pack for that. <laughs> okay, All right. do it, Richard. Mindstone. I know you got the removal. I don't. <laughs> I really can't attack. I also have no removal. I'm not even lying. <laughs> that's what crack someone the, with a lot crack of the mind stone to do. find the swords. Should we, <laughs> do it, Richard, we play? for the team. I don't know what happens when we play this, but we're gonna play it. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Prisoner's Dilemma. Oh. Each opponent secretly chooses Silence or Snitch. <laughs> then the choices are revealed. If each opponent chose Silence, it deals four damage to each of them. If an opponent chose Snitch, it deals eight damage to each of them. Otherwise, it deals 12 damage to each opponent who chose Silence. Wait. So write down your vote and then we'll, we'll flip it up. Yeah, write down your vote on your convenient Ultimate Guard Try Erase Markers. Remember, Snitches <laughs> get Snitches. No, oh, God, Krim is taking Snitch. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Because we want to take the least amount of damage, right? Because we still got to Everyone Richard. picking silence is So the, the least, the amount, least amount would be to break it. They're all silent and you, Snitch, you take zero. Nah, you, you won't get me with that. <laughs> but then you just take... But then I keep them alive yeah. because I need to end up kill you. Well, are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's flip them. <laughs> oh, the only honorable person at this whole friggin' table, and I take 12. Oh, my God. Oh, you... uh, that's all on you guys. I did nothing. Okay. Fun fact. How I you uh, choose snitch before, and then I, when, when Krim was so sure what he's going to take, I was sure he's going to snitch, and then I tried to erase it, but then I noticed I didn't use a removable mind. <laughs> use a sharpie. <laughs> I guess I'm a snitch. Well, I guess I'm snitching. <laughs> I had a temple of silenced and a scry to the top. Okay. And uh, I, I am done my turn. All right, so upkeep. I'm going to move, move a counter. I'm going to surveil. The commander goes up. I'm actually going to throw away oh. Brexian Metamorph, and then... That's drop. scary. Oh, he's just throwing away like reanimating that. But I guess you could just reanimate it, right? Attack you with my commander, Richard. Uh, then I, what's your biggest body, Phil? A 3 2 and a 2 3. Depends on what you. Well, I want the Shriek Mana die, so I'm going to swing at you. <laughs> All right. I take six from your commander. I pay, I pay two because I have to pay two to attack you, Rich. I hit Phil for three, so I draw a card. You'll draw a card. That is correct. That is going to be now me moving to my end step. Smuggler share? My Mirko? It. My uh, Merc, there's more to that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring back Brexian Metamorph. I'll copy Shriek Maw, and then this will pop. That's Morph. That works. Uh, it was a Imperial Hylokite that I was probably never gonna flip because it's eight mana, and I don't think there's any dragons in this deck. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. all right, we will untap. I, I have a meta question whose deck has the farewell? <laughs> it would be your deck. Mm, is it, is it actually my deck? I'm pretty sure it's no, my deck. I think deck, my yeah. deck has a farewell. I need to be feeding Phil cards. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> we need to be dealing with Krim's commander or his graveyard. Or yeah, a farewell will take care of all of that, but he has five mana up open. Use my projector to play a face down creature. Is it a more? It is not a more. It's a mysterious creature. Oh, so that has ward. So it does have ward. All my face down one creatures or two. are currently are currently ward two. They're always ward two. So I tap these five. Uh, I'm also going to play a forest for the turn. I'm going to tap three more. So eight total mana. I'm going to play a welcoming vampire. When a creature with power two or less ETBs under my control, I get to draw a card once a turn. 
And then I'm going to play uh, a Whisperwood Elemental. You might remember this from Standard Ooh, Pass. Oh, I missed that card. It's a 4-4. Four, four. At the beginning of my end step, I get to manifest the top card of my library as a face down 2-2. Two, two. And then I can sack it to make it so when a non-token creature die, face up creature dies, I get to manifest when it dies this turn. Prisoner's Dilemma has flashback for 7, by the way. So okay. if you guys want to do a I'll choose Snitch round. again. <laughs> Uh, Let's all take eight. Should I just do it will. to see you guys uh, implode? Do I need to kill Bill so we have one less voter in the prisoner's dilemma now that I know he's a snitch? <laughs> oh <That> might be. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, snitches get stitches. Richard said it. Yeah, That's um, true. All right. true. They've true. gotten away snitches with it pretty good. Stitches. Oh, my snitches God. Snitches get stitches. Here they come, oh, Bill. Oh, no. Those are uh, those are three five fives <sighs> going at your face. Yeah, I'm going to block. What did Phil ever do Shouldn't besides not ask Phil I take fifteen. I'd rather die than not get that value. Yeah, snitch on me. yeah. <laughs> we're playing street ben, rules Benny's here. Benny's living. <laughs> Benny in a snitch. Yeah. Benny's staying. I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. Uh, Nelly trigger. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. I go to oh from okay. So Nelly I need to draw from Nelly. Yeah. Yep, yep. On my end step, Whisperwood is going to uh, going to manifest the top card of my library. And that's going to trigger my welcoming vampire to let me, uh, let's go face up. That triggers welcoming vampire, so I get to draw one more card. And now you can go, Phil. What did we manifest here? All right. <laughs> so this somehow in my... <laughs> as well. <laughs> so in my upkeep, I create a clue because I sure investigate. Do, uh, you can crack them at any point. Hide. You're just hoarding clues. I... <laughs> Probably don't know. Uh, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. I'm going to play a thought monitor. Affinity Ooh. for artifacts, that's why they count nice. for the other four mana. Finally, uh, when it enters the battle, my I machine. draw two cards. <laughs> I will draw two cards, and because I drew my second card for the turn, this one gets two counters. I'm going to play a Temple of the Falls card. Ooh, that's the ramp. And two, four mana. Wow, jump blocking feel with this feels like a crime. Insane reprint, by the way. Adrix and Nap. Twin casters. War two, and whenever one or more tokens would be created under my control, create twice that many tokens. This deck is just all of my decks combined. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into my end step. Smoke and Benny Brex is very cool with this clue. <laughs> I draw so many cards. And you would think there would be an answer, right? <laughs> yeah. What is your hand? <laughs> What is your Go. actual hand? Like, it has to be something Richard like... Richard is drawing the most... I would cards. remove your commander in a heartbeat. <laughs> so I'm a little scared of Krim. So kill his commander. <clears throat> Just if only it were that commander. simple, Seth. If only it were that simple. <laughs> I'm going to shiny impetus it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So it's a plus two, plus two, and goaded. Whatever shiny creature attacks, you create a treasure token. Oh yeah, can you can you Not mark your commander? No problem. All right, so yeah. this this is goaded that and plus two. So I'm giving him a red die, plus two power. I'm going to use Temple of the False. That's God. banned. That's banned. That card's banned. To, That's to, a commander flash ban. <laughs> flash. That is a banned card. You need to get that card off. The right, table. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I'll just do this. So I'll, I'll use a planes to play Soul Ring, and then wait, I'm going no. to play uh, Agitator Ant. So it's a three mana two two. At the beginning of your end step, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. Go to each creature that counters put on it this way. So I'm gonna go to end step. We're gonna agitator ant trigger. I'm gonna put two counters onto agitator ant. Okay. I'm gonna put two counters on my mysterious creature. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pay two mana, and I'm gonna pop this to just a card. All right. Untap. Remove a counter. Let's surveil. Oh, I'm going to read that. That's it. How can we not have any removal for Krim? Are the, is there removal in these decks? Like, is this just, is this a pre-con issue? Like a deck issue? I kind of think so. But I've Looking at the so deck list, cards. like there's like three removal spells or four removal spells, but not like our normal meta. I'm going to take this card to hand. <laughs> oh, I know I'm a meta. Like no kind of brutal, I swear. This will also grow my uh, Mirko from the surveil here. Mm -hmm, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Soul Ring. Because I just drew that off the top. I saw Richard do it. That's banned, Krim. Yeah, that is the banned. Cards you I, I wonder why <laughs> that card is banned. So I'm just going to send both of these at Seth. Well, I'm going to block your commander with... I have to block your commander or I die with this welcoming vampire. Okay. Why do we not have removal? So I take four, right? Or five? Yeah. Nelly trigger? Yep, Nelly trigger, naturally. Uh, Okay. Oh, yeah, shiny, shiny. Oh, princess. man, why is this reliquary tower so annoying? <laughs> I guess I won't go to discard 
And then I'm gonna go ahead, use uh, trigger my Mirko Vosk, and uh, I do have more than enough power. Trigger. Oh God! So I'm gonna massacre worm. Mm -hmm. yep. I go down to two. Well, I managed to grow one of my mysterious creatures enough that it doesn't die. I realize though, I do have finality counters on these cards, so I should. Pro I'll just put like finality. How are and new players supposed to remember any of this? Yeah. <laughs> this is like so complicated. That's all I've got for you. And he has I so much mana open. Yeah, I cream it. Like, uh, we're not doing anything. It's so bad. Yeah, Krim is just kind of running away with this game. Uh, Am I? Except, hmm. Uh, all I, I can do is go. I said it as soon as you play That's your like commander. my whole deck. And I'm just letting Krim kill you guys. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Phil is going to die, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Well, he is a snitch, so maybe it's not unfortunate. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, you snitch so... once, that's what you get. How do we, you get that reputation, yeah. You know what, it's a murder mystery. The murder is we have to figure out how Phil died. <laughs> well, I I'm gonna... think I know how I'm gonna die. Seth's fingerprints are all over him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack this at Phil, and then I'm gonna send Mama Bear at Richard. <laughs> what? I will pay the two. Yeah, I, I just and... take it and die. So you're gonna block, jump block, and then Phil dies, but this will still trigger your Nelly, right? So I get to draw a card. Yeah. So Nelly triggers. I'm gonna play a planes. Seth, we gotta work together. You're at nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. thanks. Seth, we have to work together. Richard's at the The problem is if you just flash back the prisoner still I might die. That card might actually be busted. I think I actually have the perfect play. I am going to cast Fell the Mighty, which says, destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. And I'm going to target my Mama Bear, so 5-5. Five, five. Anything with power greater than 5, so 6 or greater is going to get destroyed. What cost is that card, Fell the Mighty? <laughs> oh, it's 5. Okay, I got to tap 2 more. I got to tap 2 more lands. I tap 3. So I'm going to cast... I have a counterpoint. Counter target spell may cast an instant sorcery creature or planeswalker spell from your graveyard with mana value less than or equal to that spell's and a value without paying. It. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna counter so, that. Uh, well, oh. hang on a second. So you put that on the stack. Okay. So Richard, uh, yes. Krim's trying to counter this Fell the Mighty. I have a Willbender effect. Is this morph? The problem is I don't have anything that I can target. Uh, use to switch Krim's target of his counter spell to. I don't have an instant. Do you have anything that you could put on the stack? If you can, are you really gonna I can, help Seth? I can yes. use my Willbender <laughs> oh my and get rid of the Massacre Worm and Krim's Commander. Okay, Any, I am going to cast. On the back. Wow. See, that's what I get for not being a snitch. People I'm going to cast you. this <laughs> comeuppance, which is a fog, essentially, where uh -huh. it, it okay. would like redirect damage back. So I'm going to, when that goes on the stack, I have, as my mysterious creature, Bolt Bender, which is essentially Red Will Bender. It's going to flip face up. When it turns face up, I can choose new targets for any number of target spells and abilities. I'm going to choose Crim's Counter Spell and have it target the comeuppance rather than the Fell the Mighty. How dare you, Crim? So I'm going to get a force four cost spell. Right? Yes. It still resolves, yeah, but targeting right. the comeuppance now rather than... I'm going to use Price of Fame then to kill the thing you're targeting with Fell the Mighty. Okay. So, so you're going to so you're going to target my bear with yep. your Price of Fame. Yep. All right. Yeah, that works. Then that'll this will get exiled and then I'll get to wow. surveil two. No, actually it goes right back into the graveyard. Never mind, hold on. It doesn't even get exiled. That's sweet. All right, surveil two. I'm going to throw away both my island and everflowing chalice. Well, at the end of my turn, I'm going to get to manifest with my Whisperwood Elemental, and you can go, Richard. Smuggler share trigger. <laughs> wow. Stack. It doesn't even work, because once it's 1v1, I can't goad anything. Uh, so I'm no longer goaded on the Shriek Maw. Uh, so Seth dies to a Wrath. But you might as well do it. I'm dead to Krim anyway, so none of this actually matters. So if you got a Wrath, you might as well fire it off. Okay, this all, this all kind of sucks. I'm going to play a Plains. We're going to Seal of Cleansing. Is That's just resolved? blow up an artifact or enchantment, right? That's right. Sure. I'm going to take the shiny impetus off of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's wild. All right. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why? Uh, oh, you, so you, it could die you, to the wrath. Do you know what this is? Winds of Wrath here. Ah. Here, we're going to do it like this. So Winds here. of Wrath is destroy all creatures that aren't enchanted. They can't be regenerated. Do it all. I have to two for one myself to cast the wrath. All right. I, well, I that means no. I will die. So all your finality. So these are all excellent. gone. I take two from Massacre Worm because I had one creature. Oh, but yeah. So I'm going to cast an Arcane Signets. Okay. 
Uh, then I'm going to cast, using six mana, cast a Darien. So uh, Darien says, whenever you're dealt damage, you may create that many 1-1 one, one white soldier tokens. It's a 3-3. Three, three. I am done. End of your turn, I'm going to play Final Word Phantom. Uh, so it has um, flash and flying. And during each opponent's end step, you may cast spells as though they had flash. Only during my end step? Interesting. Only at your end step. Uh, so then I'm going to untap. Boom. Uh, I'm going to surveil. Oh, my God. What does that do? Uh, I'm going to throw away Twilight Prophet. I'll just take my turn. Okay. I'll play an island. You know what, Richard? I'm just going to pay two. I'm going to play Enchanted Surveillance. Uh, I may look at an additional two nice. cards each time I surveil. And then I exile it, and I can shuffle my graveyard into my library. Then I'm going to pass the turn <laughs> to you, Richard. Uh, did you, you didn't draw additional cards this turn, right? Nope. Uh, okay, so if it's just 1v1, Go does literal nothing, right? Uh, it pumps my <laughs> Correct. creature. Uh, so it forces an attack, but you have to attack me. So I can choose not to attack because you have the prison, right? Even if I'm goaded? Oh, Get yeah. out of here, Krim. <laughs> I'm just asking, that's all. I'm just what asking. Now he right. doesn't even work anymore. This deck, what is this deck? Okay, okay we're going to do this. We're going to play a Thought Vessel because okay. Wizards thought I'd have too many cards in hand, so I need another way. I mean, your commander does have size. a lot of cards for you. Uh, so I'm going to play a Slayer Stronghold. Ooh, that's painful. So that, right. that's Amulet Titan. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. Pay three mana. A creature gets plus two plus zero and vigilance and haste until end of turn. Sure does. I have a lot of colorless lands, by the way. <laughs> so you, you've got Eldrazi, right? Is what I'm getting Freak from <laughs> I'm going to play a Boros Reckoner. Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is going to uh, be I, I, So Boros Reckoner is a 3-3. Three, three. When it's dealt any damage, it deals that much damage to any target. Okay. And then I'm going to Slayer Stronghold it. So it's a 5-3 with haste. I'm going to swing. Does that have Vigilance? No. Does that have Vigilance? Does that have Vigilance? Okay. So a 5 and a 3. Cool. I'm going to take all of it. Take eight. All right. Uh, your go. End of your turn. I'll have flash now. So I'm going to go ahead and play Eye of the Dusk Mantle, uh, which is a flying lifelink 3-8. I may play lands and cast spells from among cards in my graveyard. I've surveilled this turn. If I've cast a spell this way, I may pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. Seems pretty busted with surveil. No, nice. that, seems, that seems good. Untap. Uh, well, I have my last counter, right? Surveil. And I get, so I get to look at an additional two each time I surveil. So I'm going to surveil three here. Wow, that is abysmal. <laughs> um, wow. You get to cast them all in your graveyard, though. I mean, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw them all. I can play wow, and cast Sanctuary. Them. Okay, so I'm going to throw away Hostile Desert, Arcane Signet, and Mystic Sanctuary. Okay, that makes me feel bad. And then actually. also, like, so yeah, this is in play, <laughs> by the way. I have my, what is my it? Little, it's a 6-6 six, six flyer with Ward 3. Okay, can you hit me with it? I'm going to try to. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead, play Mystic Sanctuary. I do have three islands. I'm going to go ahead and put Counterpoint top of my deck. Disgusting. Real politely, uh, try to... Tap out all your mana to pay for Ghostly Prison. Yes. Look, I would love to do that, but... Uh... <laughs> I think the deck has a Rise of the Dark Realms, if I One, remember two. <laughs> I'm going to play Arcane Signet. Oh, actually, even better, I just realized something. I can just pay life to do. I will pay two life. I just got a free. Now, look at my eye of the dusk mantle just doing work here. Finally, a third black source. One, two, three, four, f make that five. I'm going to play Doom Whisperer. Oh, Seems is this good. the janky? Oh. Uh, and I'm also going to separate that this is what's entered been, uh, for the graveyard from Surveil this turn. Pay two so I'm going to surveil. Surveil seems really good with that 3 8 thing. Surveil four because I'm going to pay yeah. two, right? Go to 28. Yeah. But then I get an additional two. And you uh, can play any of these for life from your graveyard. Wow. I feel one of these engines is a lot better than the other engines. <laughs> <That's a pretty laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like the Surveil deck is way <laughs> stronger than everyone else's. A2? I'll play the okay. Mindstone. Yeah, I mean, mine was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, mine was kind of cool too, but not I'm gonna pop it. strong. Draw a card. How many cards uh -huh. do you have in hand, crew? Six? Yeah. I'm going to play, I'm going to pay two. Surveil. <laughs> Three because of Night Veil. Vale, uh, or actually, no, that's I'm only gonna when it attacks you surveil. It's only when it attacks I surveil. You can do it for as much as yeah. you want. I guess I will. I'm gonna pay two. This is Gristle Brand. Then, What's going on here? Oh, I don't even, why am I showing you all this? I don't have to show you anything. This is all mine. All my, oh. You show us your hand the entire time. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I'm a nice guy. That's why. Keep paying right. life, Krim. You got 11 more surveils in you. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw away copy catchers 
and Baleful Strix. So I'm going to go ahead and pay two more life. I'm going to play Baleful Strix. Get down to 20. I'm going to draw a card. Then I'm going to go ahead and pay two more life. I'm going to go ahead and play Copy Catchers. Now this has flying. Whenever I surveil, I may pay two. If I do create a token, that's a copy. of. You know what? I'm going to pay two more. Why not? Let's live that life. <laughs> Let's when live that roll. life. I'm going to throw away that. I'm going to also throw away Amphineer. And I'm going to keep both of these on top. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and exile, uh, pay four more. Play uh, Mutineer. I'm going to exile your Darien. And you becomes, get a salamander. It becomes a salamander? Yeah, you get a salamander on that. I'm not going to make any copies of Copycat. All right. All right. Salamander. <laughs> you know what? Hey, what? Wait, Richard, 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 Richard. You know what's really wild? I think I'm actually going to let you keep that. I'm going to get rid of the Reckoner. You want to get rid of Reckoner? Yeah, you can keep your Darien. And then I pass. All right, mister. Uh, so Smuggler's Share from the, from the Mind Zone? Yeah, I guess we just do this. Otherworldly Escort. <laughs> Oh, it's this is a Yu Yu a Yu Yu Hakusho reference, by the way. <laughs> so it's a it actually four, is three it actually is flash. When it dies, if it's not a spirit, return it uh, under its owner's control. Four charge counters on it. It's a spirit detective. I can pay two to tap, remove a charge counter, destroy a target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. How do I pay life? This is like the worst Darien deck ever. <laughs> How do I deal damage to myself to trigger this? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. I'm amazed Richard hasn't done... How many cards do you have in hand, Richard? Do you still have like a seven lot. or something? How many flyers do you have right now? I have Baleful Strix, Night Veil Sprite, Doom Whisper, uh, Eye of the Dis Dusk Mantle, Pretty much all of them. and well, actually my yeah. Ireboard, <laughs> except okay. for the wow. uh, Mutineer. All right. Here's Windborn Muse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ghostly prison. Doubling down. Creature. All right. All right. <laughs> Here's Kazool Tyrant of Cliffs. It's, it's like ghostly prison. If you don't pay three, I make an ogre. <laughs> Seems good. How does Richard's deck win? I don't know. <laughs> it's just all these ghostly prisons and goading, but I'm not sure how it's actually supposed to kill someone. Care keep. I can tap it to make cobalt for some reason. Okay. Solid. And, uh, okay. I'm done. All right. So end of your turn. Uh, I'll have flash. I'm going to cast connive and I'm going to steal your windborn muse. Gain control of creature with target power two or less. Okay. I am going to pump it. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. like oh things. my god richard can you keep that <laughs> land displayed so i would know that like, <laughs> that's so no, do i take maxi yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't, so I didn't even mean to do that scum all right whatever i'll let you how am i supposed it. to know you have that card in your deck okay all right all right yeah that's fair all right do you are you gonna let me take that back <laughs> we'll, we'll take back season we'll take back season okay we'll take okay all right all right i'm gonna in that case I, okay you have that untapped right i guess i'm just gonna play a new card, Ace of the Shifting Visage, which is going to be, at the beginning of my upkeep, I surveil one to solve. I have to have 15 or more cards in my graveyard uh, at my next end step. And once it's solved, I may ca whenever I cast a non-legendary creature spell, copy that spell. I'm going to pay two more. I'm going to play Demir Spybug. Flying Menace, and whenever uh, I surveil, I get a 1-1 one -one counter on it. I'm just going to take my turn. Upkeep, oh, I'm going to surveil three. Maybe he'll mill himself out, Richard. That might be your hope. Uh, uh, yeah, ancestral. <laughs> just an ancestral recall here. <laughs> so that I've surveilled. So I'm going to get a one-one counter on this little guy, and I'm going to go ahead and throw away Marvo, the Deep Operative. Throw away this land and keep this on top. I'm going to go ahead and draw said card. I'm going to cast Black Sun Zenith for four. <laughs> what do you have? What's going to survive your Black Sun Zenith? Uh, so what's going to survive here is my six-six. My 3-8 and everything else goes. Resolves? Yeah. Otherworldly Escort's going to come back as uh -huh. a uh, spirit detective with I'm gonna uh, shuffle four charge on counters on it. Okay, so now it's got the spirit gun. So what is it? what happens when it's loaded? So two, <laughs> two mana tap. Uh, it destroys target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. But it, it's currently summoning sick. But I will point this out to you, Krim. I have a Slayer Stronghold. All right. How do I win? <laughs> Three, six, nine, I could go 12, and everything. 15, I 18, keep prisoning up. 20. I've got 20 cards here in my graveyard. I've solved the case. <laughs> what does that do? That's my end, I'm ending my turn. I'm not attacking you because I can't. It's pointless. How, how so, many cards have you drawn this turn? None. I've drawn my, I've drawn my draw for turn. That's what I've okay. drawn. I'm going to end my turn, and I've solved the case. So now, whenever I cast a non-legendary creature spell, I copy that. I'm going to crack a Mind Stone to draw a card. Okay. Okay. Does I this deck have a way to kill that annoying enchantment? I need to find like a feed the swarm. All right. Lauren to remove your case. 
Oh, there's Lauren. Nice. Oh my God. Right. So destroy Ooh. reprints an enchantment or artifact. How big are your creatures now? Now with all these counters on them? I have a 2-2, two -two, a 2-2, two -two, and a 0-4. Do I just go aggro here? You're at 12? Yeah. yeah. That's probably your best bet. Otherworldly escort rumbling in for four. I'll block. Uh, how about this one? What is that? Trouble in pairs. One of the most hyped cards of the set. If opponent would begin an extra turn, that player skips that turn. When an opponent attacks you with two or more creatures, draws their second card each turn, or casts their second spell each turn, you draw a card. Uh, so you'll draw more pre-con cards? <laughs> Get out of uh, here! <laughs> all right, sure, you got it. Uh, I'm going to play Escape Tunnel. Pass the turn. So Escape Tunnel makes it so that you get a, to... A creature with power two or less can't be blocked, or I could sack it, it's Evolving Wilds. I, I'm so gonna your stronghold is still love. Mission's briefing. <laughs> I'm going to surveil four. What did you throw in your yard? I threw away Sir Conrad and Overseer of the Dam. And then I'm going to go ahead now and cast... I'm going to get Price of Fame. I feel like we've seen kill... this card a million times. I'm going to cast yeah. Price of Fame, killing... I guess you're Loran. I was going to make surveil... you cheaper then. So Trouble and Pairs will trigger here. All right. I'm going to untap. Let's go ahead and draw. I'm going to go ahead and concoct. So it's Surveil 3, which will give me Surveil 5. And whenever I then return a creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. Let's go ahead and just throw away Brave Titan, Tainted Isle, and Notion Rain. Then I'm going to bring back Overseer of the Damned, which will enter the battlefield. And I may destroy target creature. Whenever a creature, uh, a non-token creature an opponent controls dies, Create a tap 2-2 two, two zombie token. It's going to blow up your Yusuke Urameshi. And then that's going to give me a 2-2 two, two zombie tapped. So wait, is that your second spell? How many spells was that? That's the I've second only, spell. I've, no, that's one spell. No, th this, one spell. this is one spell. I'm going to play Master of Death. Now that's my second spell. Enters right, battlefield, gonna... surveil 2, but it's actually going to be surveil 4. You didn't draw any extra cards this turn, right? Your deck sucks. Can you draw more cards, please? I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I am actively trying. I promise. I make a, it's a tapped, by the way. So good. But... Commander coming out. Uh, six mana. Okay. I'm going to play That's, Talus you of Conviction. You've cards in hand, and the best thing you do is play your Goad Commander. Oh, my God. I'm going to Talus here. Uh, I'm going to play a Snarl, Revealing of Planes. Hey. That's right. That's right, boys. That's pretty, that's <laughs> that's pretty good. A, that's, <laughs> that's a play of the game. That's a play Pop of the game. Popping off right, there, right yeah. now, dude. Untapped. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're cooking. We're cooking. I'm just going to need to untap. I need another main phase to get this done. All right. <laughs> passing? I'm passing with okay. lots of mana up. Sure are. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my turn. I'm going to draw my land. Let's just do this. Six, seven, eight. Uh-oh. I am going to count. Uh, the dog realms. I've been holding it. I yeah. just wanted to fill the yard up a little bit more. Oh, you get the Lauren to destroy the... Is that just Letha? Yep. I'm going to try to destroy that ghostly prison. I I I'll do this for ease for you. These are your creatures. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I like hearing that. These are oh, here fine. We go, here we go. I'll, I'll, even, I'll even do it the right way for you. Here we go. All right, my triggers. First thing, I'm going to kill that annoying ghostly prison. With Lauren? Yeah, like that. I, I want Lauren to answer that. Uh, I don't think you have any other triggers, right? No. Okay, well, I'm going to have a lot. I want to resolve the Surveil first, Brave Titan, and or Strix, and then Mutineer. Sound good? Okay, Surveil 4. Sweet. Can you get um, counters for the surveilling? I'm going to get some on my, where is he? My Demir Spy Bug. Now I'm going to surveil these cards away. I'm going to throw away Maul Drifter, I'm gonna throw, which will ping you for one because Sir Conrad. I'm going to throw Otherworldly Gaze, and I'm going to go ahead and throw away Consider, keeping this card on top. I'm going to exile your commander. Oh, the Salamander thing? Yeah. All of these were thrown away with Surveil, uh, so I could technically pay, I could pay life for these. Yeah, I think you should cast it all for value. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually not going to do that. And I also did not draw my card yet from Baleful Strix. Oh, so, so, Man. so that's but the that second is, card. Trouble that is my Paris second Strix. card. And then I'm going to get two zombies. Uh, I have all that stuff in the air. Nothing there has haste, right? My creatures that you took? No, they don't yeah. have haste. Is there cool. a homer path in this deck? I hope you're ready to clash <laughs> because Marvo is also going to clash later. We will clash on. I am going to go to combat now. Go so I'm going to send... Overseer, my Master of Death, my Doom Whisper, and Watcher of the Act. Uh, okay, so you attack with two creatures. I'm attacking with four creatures. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw with Trouble in Pairs. Yeah. Okay, you got that. I'm gonna use a Cobalt to block the three one. I'm gonna Slayer Stronghold and block one, and then I take how much damage is the rest? So you're gonna take five, seven, nine, and then your Slayer Strongholding, right? So that means Master of Death will die. Two creatures will die, so you'll take two more on top of that. 
from Sir Conrad. Okay, so I take 11. Yeah, I go to 20. I'll just pass. I'm going to pay two and make a Cobalt token. All right, so I'm going to end, and then I'm going to go to my second beginning phase because of Sphinx of the Second Sun. So I'm going to get my untap. I'm going to pass on the trigger of Master of Death because I don't want to lose a life. Um, oh, but I get Twilight Profit. Hold on. I get Twilight Profit. Oh, Actually, tricky. trigger on the stack, I'm going to Surveil. A2. What does Twilight Profit do? So at the get beginning a 20 of my drop on top. if I uh, have the City's Blessing, reveal the top card, each opponent loses X life and I gain X life. Uh, I'm going to Surveil 4. I'm going to throw away all four. I did not throw any creatures, uh, by the way, for Conrad. Another two. Surveil four. And then I'm also going to have a spy bug trigger somewhere in there. Better in response, use some more surveils. <laughs> Honestly, I might want to. Is there any other big spell in this deck? Because I feel like they're all on my board. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you don't have a uh, anyway, I'm sure. I'm going to throw away these top four cards. And yeah. you're going to take two because two it's creatures creature. are discarded. So uh, then I'm going to take another two. I'm going to go and surveil four. And now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Throw away no creatures, just Toxic Deluge, Swamp, and Takasia's Dig Site. Uh, then I'm going to reveal uh, Vizier of Many Faces. And you're going to take four, and I'm going to gain. And also, this has like two counters. All right. Is your turn done? Huh. Yeah, that's my turn. That's my turn. So, it's, it's Smuggler's Share? Triggers. Smuggler sure has drawn quite a few cards. I've drawn I a know. million cards, yeah. but unfortunately they're all pre-con cards. <laughs> <laughs> Fiendish duo. Nope. So six mana. Big five, crap. five Nice. First strike. If a source would deal damage to an opponent, it deals double that damage instead. Does it resolve? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me just tap the right color of manas. Uh, I'm going to play a uh, Gisela. We have six mana currently. Oh. Yes. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do. Is that your hand? This what is my hand. Graveyard. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and cast Dispersal. Each opponent <laughs> will return the permanent with the highest CMC they have to their hand and then discard a card. So you're letting Giselle resolve or no? No, no, no. That's on the stack. So that's on the stack, right? So Fiendish so, Duo. Fiendish Duo goes to my hand. And then you discard a card. And then I discard a Plains. I'm just going to make it simple. I'm just going to counter that for a Gisela. So That's a counterpoint? which will then allow me to cast another spell that is equal to six or less. Wait, how much is Gisela? Seven or six? Seven. So as you cast, Trouble in Pairs happens. Let's see if I draw my white counter spell. So is that, is that getting countered? We're resolving, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, okay. So that got countered. Conrad will trigger. So you'll okay. take one. So I'm going to cast Concoct. I'm going to surveil five. Throw here. Uh, I'm going to throw away all five cards. So only one creature in there. And then... I'm going to go ahead now and reanimate Mole Drifter, which will be a creature leaving the graveyard, so you lose another one. You're going to draw two cards? Yeah. Yep, I'm going to draw Trouble two cards. Pairs. Yep. Pass the turn. Smuggler share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Flash at the end of your turn, so I guess, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and Flash in Ravenous Chupacabra. Okay. And I'm going to kill your Salamander. Okay. You'll lose one. Yeah. And then now, I'm going to draw for turn. I actually, hold on, I have like a million triggers. I have Twilight Prophet specifically. So first, let's just go ahead and surveil. I'll surveil two, losing two, and then I'll look at top four. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to throw away Sinister, Starfish, Lazav, Multifarious, Swamp. You're going to take two. Then I'm going to reveal on the top here a three-mana spell, a, a Farah's Dispersal. You're going to lose three. I'm going to gain. So I'm going to now go ahead and pay two more to surveil four. I'm going to throw away... Four cards. One of them is a Dream Eater, so you'll lose another one. I'm still on my upkeep. Uh, yeah, all right. Gonna, I'll, I'll I'm draw gonna rush Kaido. Can you handle I'm gonna draw it? I know, that's the problem. I'm worried about that. So I'm going to play a Swamp here. <laughs> then, I guess let's just go for it. I'm going to attack you with just enough so I don't die in case you have some weird way to redirect the damage to me, because I don't know what's happening. Uh, also, this has like a few triggers on it, so just these two alone. And Marvo. Yeah, you have all of these ones. And I you do. have like... I do. A windborn muse protecting you and a kazoo. Well, that doesn't protect me from redirected damage, but I'm going to send <laughs> all of this damage at you, right? You can also win at instant speeds. And then I'm going to now, tr so with trigger on the stack, right? So Marvel Deep, I want to kill you with the, the octopus rogue. Whenever Marvel Deep operative attacks, clash with defending player. When you win a clash, draw a card, then you may cast a spell from your hand with mana value 8 or less. Okay, so I'm going to trouble in pairs here. So first, I'm going to go right. ahead. And activate yeah. with that trigger on the stack, right? So I'm going to lose two. Surveil okay. four. Yeah. Throw away these three cards. Leave this on top. 
There are no creatures in here. They're all lands. All right. So let's clash. We're we going to clash. clash. On. I have a, a bloodthirsty blade. I have a six. So it's Chanel Char Chanel Serenade. I, I will draw this card and then I will get to play a spell eight or less, I believe. What happens to my clash card? Does it stay on top? Oh, and then we scry to the bottom. We're going to scry this. My, uh, my, my spell for turn is going to be Vizier of Many Faces. And I'm going to copy this, uh, this Sir Conrad. I'll keep the, the original Sir Conrad. This will put this in the graveyard. So then wait, you'll wait, wait, lose wait, wait. one. Okay, so in, in response. Okay, Vizier is on the stack. You drew a second card, so I get a card. Mm -hmm. I am going to cast Take the Bait. I don't know what that does. So cast the spell cool. only during uh, an opponent's turn, only during combat. Prevent all combat damage developed to you and planeswalkers you control. Untap all attacking creatures and goad them. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. So you would <laughs> just steal my combat phase. <laughs> yeah, but nothing happens really because... I'm going to respond. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to cast Otherworldly Gaze. I'm going to Surveil 5. Uh, nothing. And then I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to crack Enhanced Surveillance. I'm going to shuffle my library back, or my graveyard back in my library. Presumably you have like four creatures in there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, in response, I'm going to cast uh, Gideon's Sacrifice. What does that do? So <laughs> choose a creature or planeswalker you control. All damage that would be dealt to you this turn and permanence you control is dealt to the chosen permanent instead. Uh, okay. It is a Richard deck. It's just all fogs and nothing. Yeah. No, no fogs. Richard that's deck it. Would nothing come. going on. He's like, just fogs and fogs. Like, okay, all I have are fogs <laughs> <laughs> and windborne muses. Richard, so, wizards has embraced the fog meta. So this doesn't do anything, right? Because the, the kobold dies, and then I, I take the rest. <laughs> yeah, so you would prevent yeah. one damage, right? Yeah. Okay. So and then how many the, creatures you have? After that, I have six. Okay, so then I take six now. Now I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Now you're two. Negative two. Dude, we wait an hour for this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think Richard was dead wow. for like an hour and a half. <laughs> well, the Whoa, this deck, prison. Look at this deck. This deck has nothing but like fogs and stuff that doesn't prevent damage, but no way to actually end the game. <laughs> Uh, at least yeah, you just didn't did have a bunch of morphs well. from 20 years ago. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, that was our, uh, Murders of Carlo Manor Commander Precon Commander Clash. Uh, let us know what you think. Which was your favorite deck? Obviously, Crim Surveil deck kind of ran away with it this week, but, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. You can see the deck list on the site. So let us know in the comments which Commander Precon you're most hyped for. And we will be back next week to do, a uh, full Murders at Karlov Manor, playing, uh, whatever commanders we feel like playing from the new set. So make sure to come back next Friday for that. So until then, everyone, thanks for watching. And, uh, this is the crew signing out. See ya.